Hi guys, so before you start this tutorial, there's a few things I want you to remember. Number one is that in order to access Google Sheets, you need to have a Google account. Number two is the autosave function. So any change or edit that you make in Google Sheets is automatically saved without you having to press save at all. So if you do a change that you're not happy with, um, you, can you can change it back by pressing the undo button or the keyboard shortcut control Z. And number three, is that this is a basic tutorial so I'm showing you a simple easy way of creating an invoice in Google Sheets straight from a template. There's no long complicated formulas or anything like that, it's a simple quick way of creating an invoice for you to use straight away. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so in order to access Google Sheets you need to be logged into your Google account and then go into the apps grid in the top right hand corner. It's the nine square grid here. Click on there and scroll down to Google Drive. This is where all of your files are stored in the Google Drive. So we want to create a new invoice from the template that's actually already there in Google Sheets. So go to new, go to Google Sheets and instead of clicking Google Sheets straight away, go over to the arrow and you have the option of a blank spreadsheet and from a template and we want to use from a template so click on there and you will have a list of templates that are that are categorized into personal work project management and education so we want to go to the work section and there's one called invoice if you click on there and the invoice template will open up so you can see it's just a basic looking invoice and the first thing that you can do is change your company details. So if you have a logo, you can upload a, a logo image here or if it's just a name that you want to have there. So for example, if I wanted to upload my own logo on here, I would go to insert and insert an image and you can do image in cell. So I would go into there and I would upload the image from my computer and you'll see that it looks quite small so what I would do I would highlight these two cells and I would merge them together and then I would increase the height of the row just to make it a bit more visible and I would center a line as well and if you don't want it there if you want it in a different position you could just do Control X to cut move it across, I want it over on the right hand side, control V to paste. So then I would add in my company details here and you can then go through and change any of the colors, the font size, anything that you don't like about it. Um, so the invoice here, I would, I would probably reduce the size of that down a little bit. Um, submitted on, I wouldn't have that so I would delete that from there. Invoice for, so you'd put in the customer or the client details here. Payable to, and then the name. Um, project name I wouldn't have. So the due date, I would have the date in the cell next to next to the heading due date. Um, but if you look here, you can see that the two columns here are highlighted, which means that these cells are merged. And you can look up here, and you can see that this button here is highlighted to say that the cell, the cells are merged. So if you just click on the arrow here and unmerge. And then you've got the two separate cells here. So now you can go in here. Oh, it looks like these two cells are merged as well. So you want to go in here and unmerge these. So now you can go into this separate cell and control X to cut and control V to paste. And then I would just add in a due date here. And again, these two cells are merged again. So I would unmerge these as well. And in here, I would put in invoice date. Now you can see that this is a different format, so I want to actually use the same format as this cell here. So I would use what's called the format painter. So what that does is you click on the cell that you want to copy, go up to here and there's a little paint roller. So that's format painter. Click once on there and then click on the cell that you actually want it to format and it will automatically change it to match that format. So the invoice date here, I would put in, I would put in the correct date there. Again, with the invoice number, I want the invoice number to be up here as well, but you can see here that these, these cells are merged as well. So again, just unmerge them. And the same with the invoice number thing there as well, just unmerge. So I would go in here and cut and paste. So control X and control V again. 
And that's probably all the changes I would make to begin with um, on this section here. So now you get down to the section where you're adding in the actual details of the invoice itself. So you have item one, item two, quantity, unit price, total price, a subtotal, adjustments for any adjustments made, and the grand total. So the first thing I would do is, I'm actually based in Ireland, so I would want the currency to change to euros. So to do that, I would highlight all the cells here. I would go up to the, the number formatting here and click on this drop down arrow next to more formats. You can see that currency is already ticked and you can see there's one here called euros. If you wanted a different currency, there's more formats here and you click on more currencies and that will bring up a whole load of different currencies that you can use. But I went to euros, so I would change this just to euro like so. And that's changed. The next thing I would do is when you go over to rows 22 and 24, you'll see that 23 is missing and you can see the two little arrows here. So this means that this row is hidden. So I would highlight and right click the mouse and go to unhide rows and just show those all the rows are visible. The next change I would make is this adjustments here. Um, I wouldn't actually have that, but I would have an extra row in there for tax or VAT. So I would have that as VAT and in Ireland at the moment it's um, 21%. So I would have that in there. And then we would put in the formula that is equals the subtotal times 21%, which gives us that total. And then this total figure here is these two added together. Another way of doing that would be to insert another row below. So right click on the row, insert one below, and here you could just say VAT or tax, um, and you could put in a percentage here instead. So you could say 21% instead. And here you could say that amount. So you would do a formula here, which would be the subtotal times by the percentage here and press return and that gives you the same amount so 126 and then this total here would be the subtotal plus the VAT amount and press return and it gives you the same figure. So it's up to you how you would want to show that so if you wanted it so that um, if you changed the VAT rate if it was went up to 23% then everything would automatically work out so that would be fine or you could have it as 20%, whatever the VAT rate is or the tax rate is, you could automatically change it in there and it would automatically change that. So that's how to change the, um, the totals and everything. So to change the description within the actual invoice itself, if you had more items that you wanted to add in, you would highlight the row there and insert one above. Just keep doing that until you have the right amount there. So you'll notice that these rows that have been added are alternating between grey and white. So if you actually go up to format and you'll see one called alternating colours, if you click on there and you can see that there's a grey and white alternating colours that has actually been highlighted. So you can click the different colours and choose whichever one you prefer. So we'll just stick with that one anyway. Um, that's fine. And then it's just a matter of adding in um, the different so you could copy that down and control V and then again, copy and paste control number three. And we'll get that one number four. Now, obviously you'll notice that the formula hasn't been copied down. So all you need to do is click on that top one there and just wait for the cursor to change by dragging the fill handle down in the bottom right hand corner and just drag that down and you'll see there. And the subtotal there, you'll see the formula here, G19 to G25, which is here, G19 to G25. So because you've inserted the extra rows in between, um, it, it's automatically the subtotal and, and the total sums down here have automatically moved down as well, which is what you wanted. So again, the quantity, just fill in the quantity, fill in the amount, and it's automatically adding up everything here. So that's the basics for a simple invoice created using the template saved in Google Sheets. Um, one other thing to point out is 
the invoice name itself up here just says invoice so you could actually rename it by renaming it the actual invoice number if you wanted or the customer name or whatever is easiest for you so if you say like invoice 12 um, and we'll call it and the invoice number is 12 and you'll see here it's automatically saving to drive and the last edit was seconds ago that's what I was saying earlier about the auto save function you cannot disable that um, so anytime you make any mistakes or you want to go back a, an action if you wanted to get rid of an action that you just did control and Z to undo or the undo button here so once your invoice is done you can export it as a PDF so you're saving it as a PDF so if you just go to file and download as a PDF and you can see here it's, it's it shows you like a print preview of it so you can change the settings the page orientation if you wanted to fit to width you can change all your headers footers margins etc here as well but that to me looks as a basic tutorial it looks fine and then you would just go to export and that would save it as a PDF to your um, PC so we'll just come out of there and that's it that's how to quickly create um, a simple invoice so once that's done you can then come out of it so you'll see this is actually saved now in your drive so if you wanted to create the next invoice say like invoice number 13 you could right click on here go to make a copy and this will create a copy of this invoice and then once it's copied you'll see here copy of invoice 12 right click again and rename and you can just rename it invoice 13 and OK so this is now saved as invoice 13 and then if you click into here you'll see in here it's invoice 13 here and it's just a matter of overwriting the details as per your next invoice and again once the details have changed go to file download as a PDF save it as a PDF so you can see everything here export it save it as a PDF and then email it on to the customer as per normal and that's it I hope you found that helpful any questions let me know in the comments below and until next time happy learning this is Zena, the office dog and she would love it if you could watch this video just here or maybe even this video this video is good as well nope she actually prefers this video just here or maybe this one this one's really good actually yeah this one Oh, do you know what? You decide.